an MPV is a family car. It's practical, it got lots of space, and two Mexicans, uh, I mean, Mexico is on the rear seat, right? And not very sporty, right, too? Although the car I'm currently driving seems to tick all these boxes, appearances can be misleading. I could, for example, do a 0 to 100 run with my Honda CBR954RR. Okay, it's fun, I suppose, but the results are to be expected. The bike looks fast, and I can assure you it is fast, so I'm supposed to be fast, isn't it? Probably get more views in that video too, but nah, perhaps another time. Now, I don't have the money to buy a Ferrari, an Aston Martin, or a Bugatti, or in fact any other fancy sports car. But then again, that would just get the same expected result as to my 954RR, wouldn't it? However, what about doing a 0 to 100 with a van that weighs about 1600 kilograms with a two and a half liter turbo engine with 220 horsepower and a torque of around 320 newton meters now that could be fun and surprising don't you think so okay so here we are we're standing still from 0 to 100 let's see what she does I don't know how far she was, but it really felt cool. And the noise, I like the noise. You can probably hear it uh, since the sound is inside, inside of the car, so, but I can assure you, it really was a nice sound. It's probably leaking fuel from my exhaust. Now we're gonna do it again. But now I'm going to try to point the camera on uh, the speedo meter. So guys, the second run, I need to wait for a clear road, so let's do this again. Two and a half liter, 220 horsepower car, let's see what she does. Don't forget she weighs over 1600 kilograms. That's that. I took the traction control of the car, so that's why you got the slippery tires. Um, I wasn't laughing my ass off, uh, but that wasn't, uh, wasn't because it wasn't fun, but just because I was, uh, well, I guess a bit concentrating on uh, where I need to go. <laughs> This one. Oh, fuck that. Die kant? Okay. Because I was paying attention uh, to the road and I also didn't uh, want to mess up um, this is zero to hundred uh, since I normally don't do it in a in a car so but I can assure you it was fun <laughs> with an MPV whoa did I get that on film oh you fucking hell you probably couldn't see it because the steering wheel was in front of it but there was just a deer passing the road damn it man so guys a bit of a different video on the Dutch Dust YouTube channel. Instead of normally showing you the motorcycle related stuff, I thought, well, since we bought this, uh, this new MPV, our family car, and I really wanted to do a zero to 100 with this car uh, because I was curious uh, what uh, 220 horsepower and uh, 320 Newton meters torque could do with a 1600 kilo weighing uh, van, uh, family car, sorry. So I thought, why not sharing it with you? So hope you liked it, and if you didn't, who cares? I liked it anyway. It was fun doing, and I really was surprised with the results. Although I only did it two times, and I probably will never do a 0 to 100 with this car again. So, as I said, thanks again for watching, and you will be seeing me later.
taking the turn and shutting down. Bye.